My name is Mary Beth Carosello, and I'm an exhibition liaison at the Getty Museum. Right now, I'm, I'm physically in South 101, which is a gallery um, in the South Pavilion, which is the decorative arts pavilion of the Getty Museum. Um, but I'm also sitting in, in the video footage here in a room in France, a gallery space there, and I'm floating through on a video representation of a chair in the Getty's decorative arts collection. We shot at, um, at the Louvre at the Museum of Decorative Arts in Paris, and we also shot at Versailles. And so Nicole the artist, Nicole Cohen the artist, spliced together the footage from the Getty Museum, uh, both with and without actors, and with um, the footage from France, to create these background videos, which she then layered an image of the chair from the Getty's collection. And the surveillance camera that's installed just below the monitor is picking up my image and then inserting it or beaming me into these spaces. You know, if you come here and you sit in this chair and you kind of tuck your feet up and you see yourself in a Getty gallery, then when you go to the actual gallery and you see the chair, you're going to have a richer understanding of, of how it works. Um, so this is footage shot at the Museum de, um, de Commando in Paris. And the chair itself is a desk chair. And you see it kind of in again, this very kind of space that is evocative of a study. And what's interesting is that in the actual chair, if you can look down at the, the replica, you'll see that the actually the, the sides open. And so in, you would never know that uh, unless you sat in the replica, um, this interpretation of the chair. But even the interpretation, that all of it's abstracted has this element from the original. It's really interesting to see. Now we're in the Getty Gallery, but you're seeing me with an actress who is, was here when Nicole was here and part of the Getty shoot last, um, last March. And so Nicole integrated these actors into the background footage to kind of emphasize the surreal quality of, of being in this space and to, well now I've just been being to France. So this is the only one that is ADA compliant. Um, we wanted to make sure that everyone who came to the Getty was able to participate in this installation. The interesting about this is that the stool in the Getty's collection is better than the upholster. But you're seeing the chair inside, which this chair right here, has the upholster, the original upholster. So when the Getty reupholstered our stool, we knew it was from the same group as these chairs. And so we went to France, studied the leather pattern on their upholster, and we recreated the because this chair belonged to Marie Antoinette, and Nicole filmed at Versailles in the suite of Marie Antoinette's room. So this chair, um, because it, it swivels, was actually the, the chair that Marie Antoinette had her hair done in, so that when she got her hair done, you know, all the elaborate, oh, not in the Getty, um, but all the elaborateness of it, you could, you know, turn her around at the end, you know, get the side, get the other side. And so to see that function, again, you wouldn't be able to tell because, of course, you wouldn't sit in the original chair, but you're able to experience it in this interpretation of it. So we're in the neoclassical Getty room, and this is interesting because this is, again, it's a, it's a, this chair belonged to Marie Antoinette. It was installed in the tea tree in Nome. This is the only one where they actually they went into um, the gardens of Versailles, and you can actually see yourself in a space that's completely off the public. So it's like a once-in-a-lifetime chance to be virtually present in a space that is forbidden. As I mentioned, Nicole wanted this, to, this space to seem like the inside of a wedding cake, and so, um, so everything's white. And if I was wearing white, I would actually register as a see-through. So it creates, when you are wearing white, you're just very, it's even more dream-like. And it, it just, it works. I mean, the floor is, is a shiny white, the walls are this kind of pale white, and kind of a crew, kind of buff color. You bring the school kids in, they, they come in and they're like, oh, who lives here? And so then when you see yourself in a chair, you live there for a second. You, you get to be the person who lives in that space. So, I like that.